Hi, this is Dr. Mayor Eisenstein. What is body composition? Incredibly important if you are running a metabolic syndrome and HCG weight loss program. Why? With the RJL4, which we've been using now for over a year, it's a small little machine, you'll be able to measure in less than a minute the breakdown of body fat, body water, and body muscle. Why is this important? On the HCG protocol, you will be losing about 75% fat. You will be losing less than 10% muscle. Now, why is this extremely important? Well, it's a visual. Doctors, it's a visual you can give your patient in order to see what the 30 pounds they've lost. I had a gentleman that called me who lost 30 pounds. He was down in Florida on the HCG, our HCG program with one of the doctors in Florida. And he said, many of my friends said, I just lost 30 pounds of water. Well, once he has the BIA calculation, the body composition, he will I work at Chicago Health and Physical Therapy in Chicago, Illinois. I started using uh, RJL Systems uh, BIA Quantum 4 about a year and a half ago. The biggest help is having a visual tracking of the patient's body composition. I'm now able to show them visit to visit, not just their weight loss, but also changes in their muscle mass, fat mass, uh, water weight, and that enables me to graph their progress, you know, and actually show them, uh, you know, where they were when they started, where they are now, and, and you know, how much further they have to uh, achieve their goals. The BIA analyzer is applied to the base of the fingers and the toes and conducts an alternating current. The detecting electrodes measure the voltage drop due to this circuit at the anatomical landmarks of the ankle and wrist bones. The current flows through the body, finding a varying of resistance depending on the density of body fat and muscle encountered. Measuring and managing healthy living is our jail's motto, and that's our goal for our patients. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Mayor Eisenstein, and I want to thank you very much for coming tonight. We've got doctors and uh, and uh, and special people, and everyone's special, you know. Uh, and I'm going to try to make the presentation really um, for for both professionals and uh, well, we're all professionals, just one man or the other. But um, this has been the most exciting program that I've ever in my life been involved with. I mean, bar, bar none. I mean, it's been just uh, an incredible. Uh, journey and, and I I'm going to uh, we have I have two other webinars that I'm going to send you the links to that we did back in May uh, one dealt with the whole program and the other with the HCG metabolic syndrome program the other one was questions and answers so you can go back and reference that and today I'm going to spend quite a bit of time talking about body composition uh, which I think has become something very very special with the whole HCG uh, uh, program and so Okay, now we're getting to uh, what I, I promised you we would talk about uh, this evening, which is really important. I mean, you know, the, the program, of course, to do it and do it well is important. That we can show you. Uh, um, uh, but we'll, 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 we're going to, um, I'm going to show you some of the exciting things that we found in this program. Body composition analysis. All trainers understand this. Um, and uh, this little machine here, the one that I showed you before, the... Uh, the Quantum 4, the one that we use, uh, uh, it will give you a uh, assessment to be able to do, show you body fat, body fat, body muscle. Let's, let's get rid of, there we go. Body fat, body muscle, body water. I did a video on it, a YouTube video. If anyone needs that, uh, they can go to YouTube, put in my name. It was just done a couple of days ago with with the company that we work with, RJL, uh, to. Um, um, that can show you how simple this test is. It, this test literally takes about a minute. It's put into a software program using different formulas. It'll come back with um, uh, the the body composition. Here are some of the exciting things that I've been studying recently, and I want to really share with you. That's why I think I've gone too far. Let me go back. Okay. Uh, let me explain to you what basal metabolic rate is. Basal metabolic rate is the theoretical number of calories that you can eat in order not to gain or lose weight. Your BMR is the energy measuring calories expended by the body at rest to maintain normal body function. Right, let's take a minute to digest this. What this means is that um, if you don't move a muscle, 
how many calories can you eat in order not to gain or not to lose weight? So one of the things that we'd like, if we can, is, is if our BMR goes up, um, that's great. That means we're burning more calories. If it goes down, that means we're burning less calories. So the question is, what can have an effect on this? And what has an effect on BMR and things like that? Well, I did some studying on this, and I really didn't know any of this uh, for a while back, a while back, a few days ago. Um, a pound of muscle, you know, it's the old question, what weighs more, a pound of muscle or a pound of fat? The answer is, of course, they both weigh the same thing. But the metabolism is different. There's two things different. Muscle is dense, so it takes up less space, so it gives you a body sculpturing if you have more muscle and less fat. But also, it burns differently. And this is work that was done at uh, Tufts University, also done at University of Maryland. And what they found was a pound of muscle uh, uses uh, about 35 calories per a, a, a day at rest. And at, um, let's see, at University of Maryland, they found that a pound of muscle used about 34, so about, about the same, you know. And so I changed it a little bit to be a little bit conservative. So it said for every pound of muscle that you have, uh, you're going to burn 30 calories. The converse of that is fat in your body burns zero calories, zero calories. All right, so, so now we're going to the next part of this. Uh, um, how many calories are, does a typical weight restriction program uh, burn? Now we're talking about programs like Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, uh, Liquid Protein, Powder Protein, any, any program. Well, I, I need to get more data on this, but it looks like that the average, the low end, I took the low end of these programs, loses 25% um, uh, bo bo body fat, 25%. I, I got some of the numbers for gastric bypass. If anyone has any numbers on Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, Nutrisystem, I'd like to see them also because you can send them to Brina at info at homefirst.com, you know, and that, that will, uh, but I know the bypass numbers run about 30 to 40% uh, lean uh, uh, muscle loss. Now, now, what what does that mean? Um, the more fat you lose without muscle loss will result in smaller changes in your BMR, therefore requiring smaller changes in your daily calories to maintain your new weight. Let's look at this for a minute, which means if uh, and I'll, I'm going to get let, let me get best off. I'm going through an example. Let's see where am I? My example comes a little bit later on, you know, but that means if you can come up with a program that you have to lose 50 pounds, the less muscle that you lose, the less you have to change your caloric intake. And so I, I already told you that um, uh, what happens with um, weight, with with all the typical programs, it's 25%. Most probably closer to 30 to 35%. Gastro bypass is 30 to 40%. Now let's look at what happens when you're doing a HCG type of program. And I brought you some of the body composition analysis from HCG. And here is one, uh, someone who uh, uh, this... Uh, uh, woman went from 213 pounds to 164 pounds, which means she lost just under 40 pounds. And here's the fat loss here as measured by the BIA. And here's the lean density mass. And we, and we put that as 8% muscle loss, 67% fat loss, 8% muscle loss. Here's uh, another person that went from 302 pounds to 254. And obviously, they're still part of the program, uh, 48 pounds loss. Uh, 75 percent was fat loss and it kind of went off the screen but you could see three out of the 48 pounds was um, uh, muscle which means it's around seven percent so all the numbers are running about about right there uh, 69 percent fat loss and 10 percent uh, muscle loss this is the only one that was a little bit different and this was uh, 53 percent uh, uh, fat loss and 
24% muscle loss, and even that's not bad. That's still way less than what I think is the real number, 35 to 40% in the calorie-restricted programs. And here's the, this is the more typical. That was the only one. And I wanted to show you that we do have some that are a little bit atypical also, but here again, a 34 pounds of weight loss, uh, 23.4 is fat, and so the fat loss is 67%. The muscle loss is 7.8%. I know I'm throwing lots and lots of numbers. What I'm really showing is that um, that on the HCG program, it's doing something to liberate fat and not lose any uh, 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 muscle. Uh, it goes the other, the other way. Yeah, we'll go. It's the first one after all the uh, – there's that one. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now let's put it all together in an example. Um, if we look over here – uh, calories burned by one pound of muscle, 30 calories per day. Calories burned by fat, zero. So now let's say you have two people who need to lose 50 pounds. And the amount of fat and muscle that you lose will determine your new BMR. On most calorie-restricted programs, you lose 25 to 40% muscle. HCG less than 10%. So now let's put that into numbers. And these numbers now will give you an idea of what's going to happen and why on calorie-restricted programs without HCG, uh, you're going to have really difficulty doing anything. On HCG, the 50-pound loss will result in a change in calories, maybe 60 to 150, not very much. 150 calories is like one slice of bread. Now, of course, I don't recommend bread. That's another story. But uh, and 60 calories is uh, my God. It's it's almost almost nothing, you know. Uh, but now the same person that they're doing Jenny Craig Weight Watchers gastric bypass will lose 12 to 20 pounds of muscle, and they will equate to 360 to 600 calories a day. That's the reason why you do any of these programs. The minute you stop the program. You know, you start putting on weight because your calorie allowance now has become so small uh, because of the uh, um, uh, because of the amount of uh, muscle you lost. It's the reason why people look uniquely different on Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig. You lose over a hundred pounds, your face starts looking gone because it's eaten away at all the collagen, which is the connective tissue, the muscle. You know, you look like someone who's been in starvation mode as opposed to looked at the people who've been on HCG. And that's what impressed me to no end. You know, not only did I need to lose more than 100 pounds, but I couldn't get over how incredibly good the people looked. And that was because they were burning fat and, and not uh, uh, muscle.